Good morning friends! Um, I hope you're all doing well wherever you are. Um, so yeah, today's video is really really spontaneous. I just decided a couple of minutes ago that I was in the mood to film because um, I was sort of running through my day and thinking what I had to do and I realised that I actually have quite a few errands to run that are somewhat interesting. <laughs> They're not just, you know, going to the shops and doing a big shop. Um, I'm really in the mood for a really nice loaf of bread, which might sound a bit unusual, <laughs> but there is a shop called way to go and they sell these amazing sourdough loaves and baguettes. I don't know who makes them, but it's a local Edinburgh baker and they're just so, so good. Best bread I've ever had. So I'm really in the mood for a really nice loaf. So I'm going to go there and I thought I'd bring you along and then we're going to go further um, up Leith Walk, no down Leith Walk, um, to get some eggs because the, what's the called? The hospice, St. Columbus hospice, St. Columbus hospice, um, sells eggs that are also really nice and they're local eggs. So I'll be getting some eggs and then I'm going to go to the foot of the walk direction and sort of head down one of the little streets and go to Wex because one of my new year kind of goals, I guess, something that I really want to do is take more film photos. So I'm going to bring along my little, di uh, not digital not complete opposite of digital, my little film camera with me and I'm going to buy some black and white film for it and maybe get help with putting it in because that camera is really temperamental with taking the film um, but I'm going to give it a shot myself first because I've never done it, I've always got them to do it for me so I'm going to do that and then probably just head home and have a really nice lunch I have quite a few avocados in the fridge so I'm thinking avocado with my nice fresh sourdough bread. I really hope they have some. It's only about 11 o'clock so they've only been open for an hour. Um, so I think it should be fine. And it's also a really lovely day and I've, I'm feeling quite productive because I've just come back from Fife and I got all of my washing done yesterday and today and because the weather is nice I actually managed to put the, the washing out in the garden. So I don't know. This is something that feels quite satisfying about that. Um, and the temperatures aren't that cold today either, so it's it's been quite a warm start to the year if you're not living in Scotland, um, I don't know about England, um, the beginning of the year, it's been really warm, like um, uncharacteristically warm for this time of the year, usually January and February are much colder than November and December, um, but yeah, so far we've barely had any frost, <laughs> we've, de we've had a sprinkle of snow but not much. Um, so yeah, we better get going. Um, so I'm going to go and run some errands and I'll bring you along. I'm going to quickly pack my bag. So this is my little film camera pouch. Maybe I'll just show you the film camera really quickly actually. It's nothing, like it, it belonged to my grandma's but it's not a really, really old one. Um, I think it's from around about like the 90s maybe. Um, and it's Olympus and it's just really easy to use. It's just a point and shoot. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to, that's what I have been using actually and hoping to use more this year. So we've got the bread and I popped into Sainsbury's to get some cheese as well. Um, annoyingly, I meant to bring my a book for the little library but completely forgot and never mind, I'll do it another time. And now we're headed off to get some eggs.
So that's me back home. Um, I had a lovely little outing and it is a bit later than I was expecting now. It's just about one o'clock and I'm pretty peckish. So I'm going to go ahead and make my avocado toast, hopefully with some a fried egg. I was hoping to try and poach it but I was just watching some YouTube videos there. <laughs> and I just don't think that today, with me being hungry already, is the best day to try poaching an egg for the first time. <laughs> Um, but I had the loveliest outing, but I'll tell you about it after lunch. We can all agree that this isn't gonna win any awards. This is by no means the prettiest avocado toast ever made, but I am really excited to eat it because I'm starving and it actually looks delicious. Hello friends! So you can maybe tell that this is actually the next day. Um, I think the last clip that I filmed was me having the most scrumptious lunch. Um, it, it may not have looked the best, like the most aesthetically pleasing avocado toast, but it was so delicious. And even though I thought I overcooked my fried egg, it was fine for me. And I'm actually going to make it again for lunch today. Um, but yeah, so today is the next day. And basically after lunch, um, my friend, a really close friend of mine, was coming over. And I realized that I really needed to get the flat ready. So I sort of ran about getting it all tidied up. And she ended up staying for quite a while. And we had the loveliest catch up over tea. And then I walked her back up to the station. So by the time I'd seen her and dropped her back at the train station, um, I had just enough time to run home, make some dinner, and then me and my other friend Ashley had a video catch-up. So it was a very um, lovely day filled with lots of friends, but it did mean that there was nothing for me to film. Anyway, I'm off on a tangent, <laughs> but I thought that I, after yesterday I really enjoyed filming and sharing with you my walk to way to go and to get the eggs. The eggs are so good. Just to say, if you do live um, in and around Leith, I would highly recommend popping into um, St. Columba's Hospice because their eggs are just delicious and pretty reasonable too. That's what we did. And then I went to Wex, which was just so lovely and I ended up spending so much longer in Wex than I planned. Well, I went um, to get film for my camera. Um, so I think I showed it to you yesterday, but this is my little film camera and it belonged to my grandma and oh, it's actually open um, I just recently started using it I think maybe last summer I think I'd used it once before that but just as a novelty um, I just wanted to see what it would be like to use um, a film camera but last summer I really really enjoyed it and this year it's one of my goals so that's what I've been up to so anyway I went in to buy film and I met a lovely lovely lady called Vanessa yeah, Vanessa. Um, it's kind of funny because I thought her name was Samantha because of all like the masks and the protective glass barriers. So only afterwards did I realise um, her name was actually um, Vanessa, not Samantha. And we ended up having quite a, a, quite a long chat about film and she's really into film photography and she's sort of developing her own um, sort of film. I'm definitely not at that stage yet. I, um, I still go and get it developed by the professionals. So it was so nice to chat with her, um, I had a really nice time and I thought since we're sort of on the topic of film and if you do live in Edinburgh I do know that there's not as many places as there used to be to develop film so um, our, like my recommendation but pretty much from the Wex people because I didn't know where to go previously and I asked their um, recommendations and they go to A&M Imaging I think. I'll put it on the screen. Um, a &M Imaging. It isn't the cheapest, I feel, <laughs> um, but they do such a good job and it's really quality. So I think that's where I'll be going again. Um, and it's just in sort of a business park in Bonington area. Um, I think that area is called Bonington. 
Um, so yeah, if you are looking to get into film photography and you're in Edinburgh, that's somewhere that you can go and um, develop your film. So I thought I would let you know. Um, I went for the Ilford HP5 plus 400. And all I need to do now is get myself something to leave her open to pop the batteries in because they were so sweet and they lent me batteries because I thought I didn't have any but actually I, I forget that I always keep my batteries in this little pouch instead of keeping them in the camera because I don't want them to um, you know sort of go that funny way with batteries and start melting into my camera so I thought that this video because <laughs> I have no idea really I feel it's a little bit of a mess now and I do apologize if it's all over the place um, but today it's coming up to 12 so I'm gonna have my lunch and then I thought that we would go out for a little walk and bring my film camera along with me and take some photos. Um, the only thing is that obviously I can't share them with you for this video because this hopefully will be going up this week and there's no way I'm gonna be using I think is it 35, 36 um, photos um, by the end of this week. I hope not anyway. <laughs> But I'm hoping that I will be continuing to film for the rest of the year, so when I do get these developed, I will be sharing them with you. But in the meantime, I could maybe share a few snaps um, from last summer that I took with this film in case, like me, maybe you're getting into film photography and it just seems a little bit overwhelming with all the choices out there for film. Um, this is one that I really, really like. Oh, and the other thing, this has turned into a very chatty video, but I hope you don't mind because I feel like the last video that I've put up, the Falkland um, day trip, was very much um, music heavy and it was lots of scenery, which um, I also wanted to say thank you so, so much because all your comments on that video, if you're watching this and you commented on the Falkland video, just to let you know that I really, really appreciate it. It really just warmed my heart. They were so sweet and so kind and the person that even mentioned Patreon, um, that I should get a Patreon account, thank you! Um, I don't think that will be happening anytime soon because I just don't feel confident enough to do that. Um, but it really, it made me very sort of cosy and warm and just really happy that you're all enjoying the videos. Um, so yeah, the other thing I wanted to mention is that when I did go into the St. Columbus Hospice charity shop, of course, I had to have a little look around and I think I included some footage and I ended up getting nothing, nothing very exciting, just little bits and bobs. Um, they had a really good deal on at the moment that is, I think it's four CDs or DVDs for a pound or 50p each. So I just, for some reason I'm really in the mood to be buying CDs and DVDs at the moment. I think I'm just getting a bit of a nostalgic kick and I really want to own DVDs and CDs again for some reason. After quite a long time of just being quite happy streaming them, um, I'm back into buying DVDs again. So I picked up Blade Runner, um, which I have, I think it was on Netflix a while ago but I never managed to finish it. I watched the beginning of it and I have read the book um, when Android's Dream of Electric Sheep, I think it's called. I read that a few years ago, but I don't remember very much about the story and I just thought that I would refresh um, my memory and watch, finally finish watching this. And I also really like Harrison Ford, so we'll see how I get on with that. Um, that was the only thing that I got from the St. Columbus bookshop, but the day before yesterday I also went to the Edinburgh Furniture Initiative, of course, because I'm there <laughs> so often. Um, I think because they're closing as well, I just want to make sure that I don't miss out on any bargains. Well, they're not closing, but they're moving. Um, so I picked up an Agatha Christie book. You might know if you've watched any of my reading sort of wrap-up videos that um, I'm sort of trying to work my way through Agatha Christie's books, but there's just so many and I'd never even heard of this one. This is why I couldn't resist um, picking up this one, hopefully that's showing up. It's Death Comes to an End, um, a novel of jealousy, betrayal and murder in 2000 BC. That's really unusual. I didn't even read that beginning part. I am very very intrigued by this. If you've read this book or heard of it, um, let me know what you thought of it. Interesting. I didn't realise that it was um, 
set like in the past as well. I thought it was sort of a modern, not modern, but like I thought she wrote it in the time that she was in. That's very interesting. So I'll let you know um, at some point when I get around to reading it what I think of that. And I also picked up. Is that what I picked up? Yeah, I picked up this um, picture frame. <laughs> And it might not look like very much, but I really like this unvarnished wood. Um, and I, funnily enough, I think in my last charity shop video, I shared a smaller version of this frame. And I'm pretty sure it's the exact same, potentially. Um, maybe it came as a set at the time, and it must have had um, a painting in it at some point. Um, and yeah, I just, I'm really, really pleased with it because I was hoping that they would get some more of these style of frames in. And I've been looking ever since I got those two um, and just haven't found any more. Um, so yeah, I'm very pleased to get a much bigger one. I feel like it's maybe, is it A4? Slightly bigger than A4, maybe A between A4 and A3. Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased with that. And because they are closing and I am a regular customer, <laughs> Um, there's a woman there that kind of knows me and is always so sweet and kind so she gave me a really good discount even though I wasn't expecting one or like hoping for one so I think I got the I got a DVD as well I think I picked up Jurassic World um, so I got Jurassic World the book and this beautiful frame for two pounds I think yeah um, so yeah I'm really looking forward to when their Gorgi store opens I think it'll be so beautiful from what she was telling me and better get on because um, it's coming up to 12 and I need to have some lunch and then I think we'll head out for a little walk and take some um, film photos hopefully so yes I will head off to have lunch and see you in a bit I'm trying to decide if it's likely to rain according to the forecast no so I'm thinking of taking a gamble and leaving without an umbrella windswept because it's so windy today actually. Um, not massively cold though. Um, but as you can see, as you were watching, I was just wandering about Old Town. I took a lot of like iconic shots just because I want to see what they're like on black and white. Um, but now we're heading over to my friend's flat and I'm so looking forward.
So as you can see, that's me home. I'm back in my comfies and I'm just about to go and make some dinner. I'm not sure what I'm going to have tonight actually, but I've had a lovely day with you all and I hope that you've enjoyed coming along with me. It was definitely a little bit of a mess, this vlog, and um, I'm hoping that when it comes to edit it, it's not too bad, um, but that's the way of things sometimes. Things don't always go to plan, so uh, thank you so much if you've made it this far and I will see you in the next one. Take care guys, bye!